Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really bright and playful, super duper spring ready type of look. So if you guys are interested in this video and my new hair, stick around and keep on watching. Savannah, Okay, so you guys already know the drill. Whenever I'm going to talk about hair, I like to talk about hair in the beginning of the video and then we can jump right on into the makeup video. I'm not going to talk too long on the hair. For my full thoughts on this hair, make sure that you check the description box for anything that I am forgetting to say. Check the description box, that will be down below. But for now, I am just going to plug the hair and let you guys know where the hair is from and all of that good stuff. So the hair is from a company called Lumiere Hair and I am wearing their Brazilian Body Wave and I have in four bundles and a 20 inch frontal. So I have in 120, 122, 124 and a 26. I did go in and do some layering because this hair, it definitely needed a little bit of help. I would say, I'm gonna give art right, 10 being the highest, I would say that this hair is like a seven. There was one too many gray hairs for me, which I don't like because normally whenever I get these things, I don't dye them. If I'm going to dye them more than so, I probably am going to bleach it, you know, lighten it and do something funky with it which you guys know I ain't gonna do because you've never seen me do a video like that I like dark hair I think dark hair fits me more so than like lighter hair even though I really want to try lighter hair it's just that I am not able to get those big tubs of bleach and all of that like over here it's always sold in like a little packet and I it's like when I think about buying so many packets to do so many bundles of hair it's like is it really worth the price? <laughs> and it takes a lot of time, so I'm not really venturing into that right now, but I definitely do wanna lighten up some hair for the summer, so stay tuned for that. You guys already know, if it's made it to the channel, it is good hair. Trust me, I get hair all the time that don't make it to the channel, all right? I'd be wondering sometimes, like, what are these companies thinking? Anyways, this one is from Lumi Hair, and it's made it to the channel, so you guys know it's already good hair. And I must say, let me tell you, I am really enjoying customizing these frontals. Like, it's, I feel like I'm getting better and better. And it's, and it looks good, you know, like, <laughs> it looks nice and full. It gives you a different look, like, <laughs> you know, you kind of look like you're born with it, you know what I'm saying? As long as nobody really up on you, up on you, <laughs> to really see that it is lace, it looks great, okay? So, yeah. I bleached the knots on it this time and I layered the hair, I cut some of the hair because I wanted to, you know, just do something different. You know, not too, too different because I know what fits me, I know what works for me, not that I don't like getting out of my comfort zone, but the hair is absolutely soft and amazing. It has a really nice shine to it. I hardly put any product in it, so this is the natural hair after I washed it. But I love the hair, the hair is really, really beautiful. And yeah, that's basically it. So for anything that I am forgetting to say, make sure that you open up the description box. All of the information will be down there for you. And check out Lumi Hair, and if you are interested in this video, this makeup look, stick around and keep on watching. Let's get okay, into it. Okay, so let's get started. So you guys watch me put on my wig and do all of that good stuff. Now whenever I do my hair like this, I always like to go back in and cleanse my face one more time. And I'm going to be using the Bioderma CBM Cleanser. And this is a no wash cleanser. And it's just easy for me to sit here and wipe my face with this and give myself a good cleanse after all of that. Because when you spray your face, you might not notice it at the time, but some of that spray, you know, falls, some of the particles from the spray falls on your face and that can cause breakout and stuff like that. That. So I like to just go in and cleanse one more time and get all of that stuff up and also wipe very close to the lace to get rid of any shininess from the gel and stuff like that. So I want to get rid of anything that fell on my face that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Make sense? So because it's getting a little bit warmer, I am going to be using the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel. And this gel is super lightweight and I find that it's great for under my makeup and it's SPF 50, which is great. Not because we're brown skin girls, we shouldn't use SPF. We out of all people should use it. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and do one eye off camera and we're gonna come on back and do the other one together okay so this is what I am going for it looks crazy right now but I promise you when the whole thing is done it's gonna look great okay the first thing I'm gonna go in with is my max select cover-up and this is in NW 30 and I'm just gonna use this as a base and apply this all over my lid as well as clean up under my brows I'm just gonna use this one thing to do everything and switching to a smaller brush like a pencil brush I'm just going to use this to really get this under my eye without being too messy. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye powder in Banana and Topaz, and I'm just gonna use this to set onto my brow as well as into my crease area, avoiding the lid area because I want that area to stay nice and tacky so that yellow would really pop. At least so the yellow will have something to stick to because this yellow is quite chalky, so it needs a little bit of help. Okay, so for my yellow, I'm going to be going into the Morphe 35C palette. Now, the other day when I showed, I'm gonna be taking this one yellow and only that yellow. The other day when I showed this, someone asked if they discontinued it and I went on the website and it was no longer there, so I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. I know that they're revamping their site and they're doing a lot of st new stuff right now, like they're really upping their game. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back in with that concealer and just pat it over the lid area just to get a little bit more tackiness. I don't wanna lose any of the tackiness right here because this is where the yellow is really going to pop. So at first I went in with a blender brush just to have a nice soft edge because blender brushes hardly apply any pressure. So with this, a packer brush, I'm just going to pat it on, and you can tell the payoff is already completely different, so that's the reason for that. I'm just gonna really pat this yellow on all over my lid, and I'm just using the one color. You guys know that I'm into the one color looks, like really making them work, like one eyeshadow, let's go. <laughs> and just get those edges one more time. Now that I have the yellow place, I'm gonna go into now that I have the yellow place, I'm gonna go into the Juvia's Place palette. <laughs> and this is the Masquerade palette. And I'm going to be taking the purple eyeshadow in here, and it's called Makeda. And with a small shader brush, I'm just going to tap the very edge into the product, tap it off, and go in on my lower lash line. And on the very edge, I'm going to just drag it out a little bit like I'm creating a wing. I'm gonna bring it back until it touches just the very top of my upper lid on the corner. So, that is it for the eyes for now. So let's move on to the face. Okay, so before I do anything, I'm just going to clean up all of this fallout. And that's one of the reasons I love to do my foundation last. If I do my foundation first and I spend the time on my eyes, like all of that time I've been wearing that foundation, you know, I'm starting to produce oil, so the foundation is breaking down while I'm doing all of that. And I feel like it's the last thing I do, I get the longest or, what, it, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> I get the longest wear out of it, or the best wear out of it, like the face is finished, the foundation is fresh, it's all good. You see what I'm saying? Like, okay, work with me, I can't find the words right now. I swear the longer I live in Japan, the more I forget English. So I already moisturized my face earlier, so all I have to do is go in and prime my face, and I'm gonna be using the Dr. Brandt Pore No More, and I'm gonna be trying this by itself today to see how it works with this foundation. I'm gonna be using the NARS foundation once again. You know, I find that it still creases on me, and that just drives me crazy, and it's just around the mouth. That's it, like everywhere else is fine. Next, I'm gonna be taking my NARS Mountain Powder and I'm just going to take this and press this into my T-zone area. I kind of go back and forth with the wet sponge and my powder puff. I really like how both of them do the job. Today, I just feel like using my powder puff. It's all about my mood, <laughs> what tools I'm going to be using. So now that the skin is nice and prepped, that was skin prep, we moisturized, we primed, and we powder primed, <laughs> I wanna call it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy, Con Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm never gonna remember this name off the top of my head. That's just too long, okay? Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. What did I just say? Creamy Concealer? Child, I'm going through it. And I am in the shade Macau. And a lot of you really like how this looks on me, so that's a good thing, but I'm telling you, like, I'm just being very honest with you. This bad boy creases around the mouth. It just does, and I don't know what to do to stop it. Anyway, anywho, I'm gonna be going in with my beauty sponge from Morphe, and I'm just gonna pat this in to the skin. Press it in. Okay, so now that we have the base down, it is time for the concealer, and this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, and this is in the color Caramel. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face with this. And I'm gonna use the pointier end of the sponge and just blend all of that out. Okay, so now that I have the concealer where I want it, it is time to set it. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC42, and this is what it looks like. And this is just the refill thingy. And I'm gonna use the same wet or damp sponge, I should say, to apply this, because I really like how it looks when it is applied wet. It just gives a really nice, smooth, and flawless finish. 
without looking super powdery. And as you can tell, right here is nicely highlighted. That's because I went in with my concealer. I no longer do the highlight with the actual highlighting powder because I have that scar. But if I highlight it in a matte way, you see what I'm saying? Like it doesn't show up as much. But when you highlight it with something shiny, trust me, if you have imperfections on your face, don't apply anything shiny on them, okay? That's when they really show up. And because I love doing this step, I'm going to be taking the Sasha Buttercup Powder and I'm going to be applying this right into the, this area right here, right into the under eye corner, the corners of my under eye <laughs> to brighten up that area and a little bit down my nose and basically that is it. So I'm gonna leave that there for a minute or so and just move on to the rest of my face until I'm ready to dust that away. Okay, so before I contour my face, I am going to take some of that NARS Mountain Powder on my powder puff and I'm going to apply this right into the corners of my mouth right here. I'm just gonna make that bake as well because right here, I notice it tends to crease a lot quicker on my face because I'm talking to you guys. And I find that I'm always touching up this area just to take my pictures for Instagram. So I'm just gonna leave that right there for a while and I'm going to move on to my contour. So for my contour, I'm going to be taking the black opal powder and this is in the shade Deep. And it doesn't look so deep right here. It looks nice and red, but like in part, that's just because of the lights. But in person, it is a truly beautiful reddish deep brown color that is great for contour. So now it's time to set the whole entire face, buff everything together, bring everything together, everything together. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. Now let me tell you, I absolutely love this powder to set my face. It is such a beautiful, lightly milled powder. Just gives you the nicest, most beautiful tint and finish at the same time. Super, super gorgeous. And I'm gonna dust away that area right there. And I like to push it in. See, just beautiful finish, like, just really sets everything. And then I buff it in. This just brings the contour and the highlight and everything together. So because I am not going to be highlighting my Cupid's bow area, I want to bring out that area even more. So what I did was I went in with my contour powder and I just, put some of that powder right in there just to give it more depth so you see it stands out. And now I'm gonna go in with my banana powder and I'm just going to highlight with that instead so it'll still balance out the look. I've been thinking of other ways to highlight this area just because I have that one little scar right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my nose contour now and I'm going to be taking my matte powder in NW45. And this is just a really nice deep red color but it is not as harsh as this contour out here. So I like to use that to contour my nose instead. You don't have to do this part. This is just my new thing. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and dust away that powder. And this area still looks nicely highlighted without that shine. So I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and finish off the eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is touch back up the lower lash line and I'm just gonna take that purple again, Makeda from the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna go in with a really small shader brush and tap it off because we don't want no fallout right about now. Okay, so to finish off my eyes, I'm going to go in with the loose reflecting, what is it? <laughs> what is it called? Light reflecting loose powder in snow gold and this is from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. <laughs> And this is a super beautiful shimmery gold color that looks white, as you can tell. But I really love like these hidden color type of powders and eyeshadows and stuff like that. I'm going to be applying that into my tear duct area. So now it's time to apply my mascara, but before I do that, I am going to go in and prime my lower lashes. I never show you guys this, but to really get the fullness on my lower lash line, I normally go in with three to four coats of mascara, and that's a lot. I just never show it on camera because to edit that footage and for me to be sitting there like one, two, three, four, you know, that's just way too much. But I always see Makeup Shayla do this. She always primes her lower lashes, and they just look amazing, and she looks like she only coats them one time with mascara, so I'm going to be trying this today. This is brand new, and and I am going to be trying out <laughs> this little trick that I see her do all the time. So what it does is, what it's supposed to do is it coats the lower lashes and makes it full from the get-go. So I'm hoping that I can get away with one coat of mascara instead of doing three to four coats like I normally do. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and blend my lashes with the false lashes. I always love to do this step after I apply my lashes. Some people do it before, but for me, it's after. I find that it really helps to really press them together, push them together, you know, and look a lot more seamless. And just so you guys know, I'm using the Magnum Big Shot Mascara. This is not the Makeup Shayla one here in Japan. I am not gonna find that over here, you know? Like if I want that, I have to order that from overseas or from America, I should say. Okay, so let's try it out on the lower lashes and see what, what happens. Wow, I would have never gotten this with one coat. They look great. <laughs> Okay, Shayla. Okay, so to line my water lines, I am going to go in with the Melt Cosmetics Eyeliner, and this is in Mixtape, and this is just a really dark purple, so I think it'll be great for the waterline. And it has a little bit of shimmer in there. It kind of fits the eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so the other day, I got a bunch of highlighters and blushes from Melt Cosmetics in this beautiful little package right here, and I absolutely love their packaging. And this is what they all look like. So I'm just gonna go through this and I'm not gonna show you everything, but I'm gonna go and find a highlighter from this to use a new highlighter today. There's also some blushes in there. So hopefully I have something that'll match my skin tone. So let me just do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't find a blush that would fit me really, really well. So there is one in there, but not for this look. But I did find two highlighters. There's a bunch of highlighters. All of them are great. But today I chose two. I'm going to go in with either Sundown or Lynx. They're very, very similar. This is what they look like. As you can tell, they look very similar. I think I'm gonna go for Sundown. Let's do Sundown. Because these eyes <laughs> look like they go with the sunset. Cheeks. No, just a nice little glow, nothing too crazy. I always gotta do my forehead, like I'm not afraid. A little bit under my brows, tie it all in, and get some on the tip of my nose and down the center of my nose. And I'm gonna do just the very top of my cupid's bow, avoiding the two lines, like I'm not gonna do that. And a little bit on my chin. Okay, so for my blush, I'm going to be taking the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette by Juvia's Place. And as usual, I'm going to be taking Nail, which is in the center right here. And right in between my contour and my highlight is where I'm gonna place this. And really blend it in there. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is our lips. Now, I've been thinking about this long and hard. A nude lip would be great, but a bold lip would be even better. <laughs> For my lip today, I am going to go in with the Kaylin Pure Lust Extreme Matte Tint Lipstick, and this is in the number 40, and this is what that looks like. And it's just a bright fuchsia type of color, and for this, I'm definitely going to be doing my lip trick because I want my lips to be perfect. So whenever I'm doing color, I do my lip trick, okay? And I'm gonna be applying a gloss on top of this. And I have to do my little lip trick because, especially when it comes to color, I'm telling you, I cannot, I cannot draw my lips perfect. I just can't. I always have to go in and clean up and I just hate that. <laughs> you know, I wanna get it right one time. I don't wanna go over my foundation, especially that I have everything set. I don't wanna go over this with concealer. You know, it starts to look muddy if you don't get it right. Like you can mess up really quick trying to clean. You can mess up trying to clean up, trust me. I know, I've been there. Okay, so now that I have it filled in, what I would do, or outlined, I should say, what I would do is just go in with the wand and fill in the rest of the lip. Okay, so on top of this, I am going to go in with my Kate lip gloss, and this is just a clear lip gloss with a tint. This is a tinted lip gloss. It has no shimmer or anything like that, and I'm gonna apply this with a brush. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked this video and also actually like the video. <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe, share the video, like the video, all of that good stuff show the video some love because making these videos is not easy not at all it's a lot a lot of work to sit here and make these videos kudos to all my girls out there that are making videos and more so those of you who actually take the time to watch them without you guys none of this makes any sense okay never forget that you guys are super duper important all right if you further want to keep up with me you can keep up with me on instagram and snapchat both of those are under savannah silver yeah and until the next video take care of yourselves and i will see you guys real soon on the next one